All right, I'm getting in just a little bit closer because I need you to hear this. You do not need to buy a new bike. And in fact, if you're not fully upgrading your current bike, I think you're missing out on something truly special. Now I'm not talking about just putting on new grips or matching pedals. I'm talking about a full blown mountain bike overhaul. And that is what today's video is all about. There's just something truly special about fine tuning your bike to fit you and make it exactly the way you want. It's a feeling that, that money really can't buy. But if you do the math and you take the price of your current bike, the price of that basic entry level bike, you add in all the expensive upgrades it would take to make it into your dream bike, plus all the time it takes for you to research the parts, make sure all those parts are compatible with your current bike, install those parts, well then you might be tempted just to buy a new bike. But hear me out, maybe it's about more than just those fancy parts and a price tag. Maybe there's more to a bike than the money you put into it. Every rider is different. We all have different wants and different needs. We all want our bikes to ride just a little bit different. And we definitely want our bikes to look different, right? I mean, leave a comment down below. Let me know your current bike. What are all the upgrades you've done to that bike? And what are some things about that bike you've tweaked to get it to ride exactly how you want? And if you read through those comments, I bet you'll see that everybody's personal preferences are just a little bit different. And there's something truly special about each one of those unique bikes. I mean, how lame would it be if you showed up at the trail and everybody had the same identical stock bike that they bought online from Specialized or down at their local bike shop? I know that's something I wouldn't want to experience. And I know when I show up to the trail, I love showing off all the upgrades I've done to my bike, which is probably why you see people, even when they buy that top level spec bike that they spent like $10,000 on, they still change things here and there to make it their own unique version. Check out this bike right here. I saw posted on the Polygon Facebook group. I just love the way this Polygon T8 looks and I just had to show it to you. This bike is owned by a guy named Fami from Singapore. Now he's upgraded this bike with some Hunt Trailwide V2 wheels, Race Face Atlas pedals. He's got that gold crank bolt in there, gold TRP DHR Evo brakes, the custom mud guard, just those tiny little tweaks, things that you wouldn't think make that big of a difference, but when you look at the way it's all packaged together, it definitely makes this bike his own unique version that you're not going to see anywhere else when you're riding on the trails. Something like that is a true one of a kind bike that Femi designed to be a perfect extension of himself designed exactly the way he wants it. Now I know somebody's going to leave a comment saying that by the time you put all those parts on a bike like the Polygon T8, you could have easily bought a higher spec bike like a Trek or Specialized, but those bikes that you buy with all those stock parts on it have no personality. And like I said, there's just something truly special about getting that bike dialed in exactly the way you want it, not the way some big brand spec the bike so they could try and cut costs and give the consumer what they think you want. That's why I really enjoy buying budget bikes or lower spec models and upgrading them to customize it and put those little tweaks in to make it exactly the way I want. Like look at my Polygon N9 right here for example. Got this bike decked out from top 
to bottom, spared no expense. Just starting at the front right here. This bike already came with a good suspension set and that mud guard. Those are things I didn't need to change. But for the wheel set, went with the Industry 9 EN 300 wheels. Just an alloy wheel set, but still reduced the overall weight on this bike. Mounted the Pirelli Scorpion tires to those wheels. Got that nice beefy 2.6 front tire for the rear tire. Went with the rear specific. Got that faster rolling tread in the back. You can see the R right there for the rear specific. Got the Enduro Pro Walls on here with this being a big old beefy Enduro bike. Threw a Garbarook cassette on there, which helped reduce the weight as well. Thing shifts pretty good. I think it could shift just a little bit better if it was an XT cassette. For the pedals, got these one up oil slick pedals. Got the 5 dev 165 mil cranks, and you can see that kind of oil slick pedals with the chrome or kind of matte raw touches just kind of matches with this bike. Not sure if you can see it, but the green and the chrome graphics on there got kind of like an oil slick tint to them. So I think that looks pretty nice. Moving on with that, got the oil slick rails on this Ergon saddle. Got the Rockville stem, so that chrome stem, which I really think kind of sets this bike off. You know, the chrome spokes, chrome hubs, the Industry 9 hubs, chrome cranks, chrome stem. On the stem, it's got those oil slick titanium bolts. Also through uh, oil slick bolts and the brake levers right here. Got the Trail 1 carbon bars. Got the Hell's Gate grips. Looks like that get grip has rotated a little bit. I need to fix that. And yeah, I definitely spent a lot upgrading that bike. Could I have bought something fancier? Could I have went and bought the new uh, Trek Slash High Pivot that I actually really like? Absolutely. But like I said, it would just be another stock bike with those stock parts that just have no personality. I mean, look at that bike. True, one of a kind gem that I own that is perfect for me. Is it the right bike for you? Probably not, but that's when you get your chance to get your bike and tweak it out exactly how you want. So before you go and look at those new bikes, check out the bike you currently have. Are there upgrades you can do to it to turn it into your potential dream bike? I truly believe the best bikes out there are the ones people have personalized themselves. But upgrades can get completely out of hand. And sometimes buying parts can become downright addictive. That's what that next video is about. But whether you guys decide to buy a new bike or upgrade your current ride, remember, at the end of the day, it's all about getting stoked to go ride and have some fun, people. And if you've made it this far, subscribe to the damn channel already.